Welcome back. Being social, it's important for all of us, especially for older adults, and that's why one community makes it its top priority. This afternoon, Melissa Todd from Ohio Masonic Communities is here to talk about assisted living, and I, I, I just know that, that we all, do, it, it, what's keeping, I love coming mm -hmm. to the work every day because yes. I have a full active newsroom and, I, and there are so many people to, to go and hey, how's the family mm -hmm. and tell a joke to and get a laugh and it's just such fun being around coworkers. And I, I was fortunate, I was still able to work here during COVID with a, yeah. a handful of people, but people that worked from home, it yeah. was real, that isolation, kids who were isolated at mm -hmm. home during COVID. Uh, we are coming out of hibernation, I think, socially, but there's so much ground to catch up on. So yeah. for senior citizens especially that have been through that, mm -hmm. and here they are, and now they're in assisted living, it's so important to make sure they, they get to still be active and talk to people and engage yeah. as human beings. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. And when someone calls into Brownie Masonic community and they're talking about assisted living or memory care, it's in their top two priorities. You know, they bring up their concerns for their loved one being social or the lack of socialization. They're worried that their loved one might be depressed or lonely or having to see some cognitive impairment starting, weight loss, weight gain. You know, that social support system and the lack of it is what we're trying to remind families is possible when you move into a community like Browning Masonic. It's a tough conversation to have to get your loved one into a facility <laughs> away from the, the cocoon that they've been used to. <laughs> sure. But there's probably a lot of loneliness there that they're, they're not realizing just yet. Maybe they're a widow or a widower, or maybe yes. they're still married, but still as you get older and you, you need assistance mm -hmm. to get around and, and, and work in the kitchen and you need to just yeah. take it easy. you you deserve this. It well deserved uh, rest from, from uh, sure. the way your life has been. So, yeah. uh, the activity is so important to get people around each other and, and, and have mm -hmm. conversations. Yeah, and have like-minded conversations, right? We all have our own interests. We all have, you know, that niche topic we like talking about, but it's having someone that gives you purpose and gives you those meaningful conversations that you do find impactful. And a lot of times when we're working with families, I have to ask some very real questions about like, how many times a week would you say mom or dad or aunt or uncle eat alone? Just being at a community solves that interaction and that social option because they're not gonna eat alone. And we tend to see folks have healthier lifestyles because maybe they are willing to eat a little bit more when there's other people joining them at a table. So, and know, when they're living alone, you know, it's just uh, maybe they're by themselves, but then, and they think, well, I've made all the friends I'm gonna make in my life, but then they oh, go to a, a new situation like this in assisted living, and then you've got a whole new 20, 25, 30 people to, to exactly. meet, get to know and spend time yeah. with. What well, all activities did they have? So, oh gosh, so I was just at the campus this afternoon. There was an exercise class going on, and then after lunch, there was a musical performance, a harp player. They go on outings to grocery stores, to different restaurants. They have a bookmobile. They'll bring presentations into the community for lunch and learn style events. We had the Historical Society come out. And I'd say the most popular one is probably some of our craft programs because they like being creative. They like, you know, being artsy and just kind of putting that into a group activity makes it really fun when they're all together. I think some people might have an impression of uh, assisted living is where people retire and just go there and they, they veg mm -hmm. until the, their life runs itself out. But that's not the case at all. These places yeah. are active. Uh, you can have a lot of fun in these places, make new friends, mm -hmm. go on outings, do a lot of really fun things. And really when you thrive, you probably feel healthier. Exactly. And you know, the true benefit is not that you just live longer when you have a social support system, it's that you live healthier longer. And everyone wants to live a healthier life longer. And it is shown that moving to a community that offers programs, activities, engaging, challenging conversations that are stimulating, you will live longer and you will live healthier. With a lot of different medical uh, situations. So whether it's sure. uh, assisted living if you're for full healthy mm -hmm. or also all the way down to dementia. Yes, yeah. yes, so we both have um, you know, assisted living and dementia, and those programs and those social opportunities look 
different because we have to meet people where they're at and sure. kind of design our calendar off of their interests. We don't want to do something that we like. We want to do something that they like or they want to try. So there's the number to contact. Browning is right out there in Waterville on River Road. Just uh, you call it a suburb of, of Waterville. Sure. Uh, just up the river there. And there's the phone number to call if you're interested in learning more about Browning Masonic, Ohio Masonic. Browning Masonic Community. There you go. All right. Melissa, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thanks for having me back. We'll be right back.